This is a very sad day for the Des Moines Police Department uh, as we face a nightmare that no agency ever wants to experience. Two officers killed, four total dead. A prisoner transfer leaving Council Bluffs bound for Des Moines ends in tragedy. The thin blue line pulling together this afternoon. Thanks for joining us. I'm Jessica Gill. And I'm Matthew Smith. We start today with that tragic news involving two officers, a prisoner, and a driver. Here, take a look at our map. It shows us the route they were set to travel from Council Bluffs to Des Moines. They never did make it to their destination. A fiery crash took all four people's lives in Dallas County on I-80 near Waukee. Please keep the Des Moines Police Department, the families of the victims, in your thoughts and prayers. It was clearly a tough day for Des Moines Police Chief Dana Winger. Speaking just hours after two of his youngest officers died, he spoke about the meaning of the early morning crash that claimed four lives. Words cannot express what this loss means to this organization. And the people that lost their lives are heroes in our minds. The two young officers killed have been ID'd as 30-year-old Susan Farrell and 34-year-old Carlos Puente Morales. Both had graduated from the academy less than one year ago. The two were part of a prison transport that originated in our viewing area and was set to bring them to Des Moines. This morning I stand before you with a heavy heart. A state patrol officer recalled the specifics, but the looks on everyone's faces told the story. This one hit close to home. Investigators say that a wrong way driver hit the police cruiser and burst into flames. The prisoner and driver, both of which have not been ID'd, died along with the two officers before anyone could offer any aid. This is a very sad day for the Des Moines Police Department uh, as we face a nightmare that no agency ever wants to experience. 